Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. A student from the Broward County School District has uncovered massive abuse and negligence within the school district when it comes to school safety. The Broward County School District, where Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School is located, had $100 million allocated to them to spend specifically on school safety measures. But did the school district spend that money? Did the school district bulk up security with that money? No, no, they did not. The school only spent $5 million of the $100 million. That's 5% of the money allocated. Now, do you remember how Nicholas Cruz executed his attack on students at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School? He pulled the fire alarm when, when the students filed out of their classrooms per fire protocol, Cruz opened fire on them. But the school district was aware of this vulnerability. School security experts told the school district this exact scenario could happen. And the security experts recommended the school implement a fire alarm system that automatically determines if there's actually a fire when somebody pulls the alarm before the bell rings. So for example, somebody like Nicholas Cruz could have pulled that alarm but the high-tech alarm system would have said, whoa, wait a minute, there's no smoke, no other chemical evidence of a fire, and thus the bell would have been delayed before ringing, and the students would have stayed in their classrooms. Think about how many lives that could have saved. If only the school district had the money to pay for those alarms. Oh, wait, they did have that money to pay for that. They just neglected to use it. Why didn't the Broward County School District prioritize the safety and security of their students? What did they do with that money instead? And why did the school district, the school board, try to silence the student who exposed this negligence? Kenneth Preston is a senior in high school in the Broward County School District. He's not the media, not law enforcement, not an elected official, not a member of the school board, a teacher, a parent, a sheriff's deputy, or even an investigative journalist. Preston, as a student, did the research himself and exposed this horrendous conduct. And guess what the school board did to him? They shut him down. They shut down survivors of the Parkland shooting from speaking at their meeting. First, they told the survivors, sure, you can speak. And then when they found out what the students wanted to say, they canceled them. Why would the school district try to silence these students? Why would they try to brush this negligence under the rug? Why didn't they spend the security money on actual security that could have saved people's lives? And what did they do with that money instead? They had $100 million to spend on school safety. They spent only $5 million. And why are they refusing to answer any of these questions? And that is my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you like the show, please send me an email at OANN.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.